Hello everybody, this is Armando from The Vault. I have a little bit different mail call. I'll have a, a small mail call uh, video today, but I'm going to try something different than everything else. Here's a... Uh, I'm going to set this out of the way here. I have a couple of stickers that I got came in from Big Apple Stacker. And I'm talking about a big sticker. That is a big sticker. That's awesome. Thank you, Big Apple Stacker. Also, I have a Sandman Coins Collections, Clemson. And actually, he also sent me a Ben Franklin. And I'll put them on the sticker board shortly. But today's uh, video is going to be a little... Some of these coins, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot of stuff. But uh, I have this guy that said the best thing to do is, is, is start a type set. And the thing about it, this is going to get rather expensive before it does whatever. But I'm going to show you the type set that I'm starting and uh, maybe progress it later on. But you see it has all the little, uh, the major coin types. Okay, start up there with the cap bucks, 1800, 1808, which like I said, some of this stuff's going to become expensive. And some of the stuff I'll have to get in lower grades because if you get it in higher grades, but I will try to get the best one that that's, uh, that I can afford because uh, I have this uh, good friend of mine, Ricky Knuckles, always say, buy the best coin that will hold the value that you can afford. Uh, you see, I started out, uh, the, the oldest one, the oldest one I have is the 1776 to 1807 and not really sure the date on it, whatever, but you see that it's in pretty poor shape. But uh, I bought that one a while back, and even in that shape, it still has shows shows some value. The uh, that's the uh, braided hair uh, coin, and uh, it has a hole in it. Someone probably put that hole in there. But uh, rumor, or I, I'd heard that a lot, some of these older coins like this, it has holes in it. You know, people used to wear it around the neck. And uh, 57 to 58 is a Flying Eagle scent there. They do have a 56, but it's very rare and very expensive. And then you see I have other, you know, Lincoln head scents, and, and it has slots for like the uh, Steel Penny and the Older Penny and the Newer Penny and everything else. Now you see there's uh, a lot of people d doesn't know that they do have a two cent piece. And like I said, being in copper and stuff like that, it's it's very hard but you see that one's in pretty good shape they got a three cent piece silver which they refer to as a trime and a three pet three cent nickel kind of i won't go over it said one of these coins i'll show them and they have different like shill nickels there that some has rays and some no has no rays and i, I don't have the one with the rays yet but I'll, I'll have that in there and uh i do have uh the Liberty Seated, and that one's in very good shape. And uh, it has, you know, from oldest to uh, uh, newest in there. It even has some of the newer ones. There's during the war effort, they had the uh, 42 through 45. Uh, they had the war nickels, it's a 35% silver. Some of the 42, when they transitioned in 42, some of them are silver and some of them aren't. And then you see I have quite a few of the dimes. I don't have a Liberty Seated one in there. And like I said, they, they come from different grades or whatever. Uh, I'll try to upgrade some of the ones that are you know less expensive, but some of them that you just have to you Like I said, way too expensive for what I want to put in a book. And one of the reasons I did, did uh, start this set is because, you know, I had a lot of these real good coins here like this... Uh, it's Liberty Seated uh, 1875, uh, I believe it is, uh, two, 20 cent piece. That is a Carson City, which is a, uh, you know, it's a three, 300, three to 350, $100 coin. And I had it in the box just with regular, you know, 10 cents or 20 cents or whatever. I had different, different boxes for it. So I did put some of the more expensive ones if I had a, a better one in there. Uh, the best one that I had, I did put it in there. And then you you see that they have the 
the different size quarters from uh, Barber. They say Liberty Head, but it's that you know referred to. We I refer to it as the Barber coin, Barber. And I don't have some of the earlier half dollars, which I'll have to get. I do have one the Liber Liberty seated, and it has no motto. Uh, the red book tells you. I guess the motto is the the banner over the eagle in the back. Uh, and, and please don't don't hesitate if you want to comment in there if I refer to something different. I'm learning. We're all learning together and everything else. And like I said, it has some of the... Uh, now, I do have some uh, more expensive halves, but I do have them in the book as far as the uh, 1916 and 21 PDNS uh, in the Liberty Walkers. Are the more expensive one but I do have those in the book and like I said I didn't get maybe the best half dollar in there but you know I, I put one in there that I had just in, the, in a tube and uh, now these are going to be some more expensive one the uh, Liberty City dollars but I will eventually try to pick them up which I do go to a lot of coin shows uh, or a few of them and I will pick them up and then, like I said, this this page, a lot of people don't have it because it's one of the newer books. Uh, I do. I'd probably have a, a uh, bicentennial quarter, but that's that's easily found. And this has a bicentennial. I did put uh, them in there. And uh, Susan B. Anthony, Secretary Wewa, and this page, like I said, commemorative date. Some of these aren't going to be hard to find, but uh, I will. Uh, eventually get them in there. Now I did put one of the uh, new Silver Eagles in there. They do have the Type 1 and Type 2 and this is a Type 2 and this is a new design on the American Silver Eagle. So that's the start of my type set. Please, if you have any questions or you want to see any of these coins, whatever, or, or more about them, uh, please ask questions. And uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those stickers on my board and I'm going to show you my sticker board again. I did add this sticker board and I didn't add it to my mail call. Scott loves YouTube. I stuck it there. And I stuck these new stickers. I've got a couple of new sticker boards up here that I've, I've added to my... Uh, let me see if I can zoom out here. Down here at the bottom. And I will have those eventually filled up. But just to show you my... Uh, Looks like I can't get it in one video there. My whole stick of boards. See my coffee pot there in the background. I like to have coffee here in the vault. Like I said, I have a quite nice collection of stickers there. There are my stickers up there at the top. You do know if you do uh, want to do a sticker trade, all you have to do is contact me by email. I will have it down in the description block. And all you have to do is ask send me your address and tell me you want a sticker i do have a few magnets left over uh, i don't have very many of them but uh, if i can have enough i can send one of them to just ask thank you very much i would like to do a magnet trade if anyone has some but uh, if not just ask thank you very much this is armando from the vault signing out thank you